It's here, the Matrice 400, the latest drone from DJI Enterprise. My name's Jason from Ripper Corp, and I'm gonna run you through an unboxing and also look at some of the accessories that can be fitted to this new drone. Starting with the box that the new Matrice 400 comes in, you can see it's a really sturdy hard case, nice and compact. You also have universal spinning wheels, so you can wheel it standing up, which is also a pretty handy feature and all the grab handles are nice and strong as well. Let's take a look inside. Straight away you can see how compact everything is. DJI have definitely made some improvements in the way that the drone is stored. You've got motor protectors. You have pre-cutouts for your key sensors, a spot for one of the new batteries, obviously the controller, some cutouts for the additional batteries for the controller. All your landing gears are stored in the lid. Again, I think it's a great improvement from previous models and is gonna protect the drone a lot better. Time to take it out and get a closer look. Something that noticed straight away is the motor protectors which holds everything together and tight. It was certainly frustrating on the older models where the blades had hit each other. You can see now, you know, nothing's sort of falling off or, or opening up uh, excessively. You just pull them off either side. And then we put the legs in. Same again, you've got the directional arrows here you can look inside and that'll show you where to set it up. And then you have this locking nut that has a good uh, symbol on so you know that it's nice and tight. Whilst the drone's in this position, you can see straight away the additional ports that they now have, and that'll enable you to add a lot more payloads. The new Matrice 400 actually will carry seven at one time, which is really impressive. On the bottom, you can see the additional sensors and point of view cameras. You also have a beacon strobe. Okay, so flipping the drone over, pull the arms back. You then have the locking ring again. So you wind that in. It's got good orange indicators here. So you know it's locked. So we can lock the front arms in now. So again, put that locking nut on. Now you have the arms locked in place. You can remove this other protector here for the new LiDAR system. You also have this little battery port uh, protector, which also needs to be removed. Now let's put in the battery. This is the new TB100. What's great is the carry handle. Makes it nice and easy, a really good design. You push that in and then lock it down with the same handle. It's great to see that the drone has now moved to a single battery. You also have the ability to do a hot swap. You have an internal battery inside, 45 seconds to do the swap and keeps the, the drone hot and ready to go again. The payloads that we will likely to be using for our operations is the H30T and also the new S1 Spotlight for all our wildlife and environmental projects. Really looking forward to getting the drone out in the field and seeing what it can do. The drone has an IP rating of 55, which is great for operating in harsh conditions here in Australia, and certainly for the sort of work that we do at Ripper Corp. Okay, now going through what else is in the box. We have the RC2 Plus controller, and you'll also see they've got the 2G module, which is new for DJI. So you've got good quality strap for your controller. You get a spare parts kit. So a screwdriver, spare bolts, your different port rubbers, gimbal vibration isolators, charger cable. Again, some more spare bolts. And you also have a lens cleaning kit. The box also has extra compartments. 
So again, for additional sensors, you can put them in there. And in the lid, you have the compartment for your spare props. You also have the washers in here. Look how good the H30T sensor just slots in to the pre-cut spot in the box, keeping everything nice and neat. You can also fit the TB100 battery just in like that. As I said earlier, more cutouts for the controller batteries. Okay, here's another great bit of kit that I wanted to run you guys through. It's the new charger case for the Matrice 400. You can see in the box, you can carry three of the new TB100s. You can also have two controller batteries charging. Over here, you have the different settings. So fast charge to 90% or the full 100% charge. But great kit, again, really compact for in-field operations. It also has the four universal rollers, which make it easy to get around. We have the Matrice 400 here with the H30T sensor mounted. Time to take it for a fly. Well, that was a successful test flight and unboxing of the Matrice 400. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to Ripper Corp and our team will be happy to help. We also have two demo units if you want to take one for a fly.